If you are a breastfeeding mama, then you're likely wondering if it's okay to nurse your baby to sleep. Here's the thing. I know you are getting mixed messages on social media from your doctor, your mother-in-law, and all the many mommy Facebook groups. So which is it? Is nursing to sleep okay, or is it actually a bad habit? Well, I am here to debunk this question once and for all and walk you through four reasons why nursing to sleep is biologically normal. My name is Kylie Etz and I have a passion for normalizing and bringing clarity around baby sleep, development, reflux, and more to really help you gain clarity and feel empowered and confident in your motherhood journey. Make sure to check out my Redefine Baby Sleep free mini course linked below this video to help you get clear on what is normal and typical for baby sleep and how to optimize it in the first two years. Nursing to sleep is biologically normal for many reasons. Breast milk produced in the evenings contains more sleep-inducing hormones, example tryptophan, serotonin, and melatonin, than daytime milk. Tryptophan is a precursor of serotonin, which is vital for brain development, and serotonin has a regulatory effect on our circadian rhythms and is involved in melatonin production. Melatonin plays a big part in regulating our sleep-wake cycles, and our babies don't start producing this on their own until about 12 to 16 weeks after birth, when their circadian rhythm matures. Melatonin also relaxes the smooth muscle of the gastrointestinal tract, which might play a role in reducing the symptoms of colic. So nursing to sleep and also during the night might actually be making your baby more comfortable. The second reason that nursing to sleep is totally fine is that the sucking action of breastfeeding offers proprioceptive stimulation through the muscles of the tongue, cheeks, lips, and jaw, which activates the vagus nerve and has a calming effect. The sucking action also releases sleep-inducing hormones such as cholecystokinin, CCK, which is thought to contribute to relaxation and sleepiness. CCK is also released in the mother at the same time, which is why you'll often feel relaxed and somewhat sleepy after breastfeeding too. Yet another reason to sleep when the baby sleeps. Number three, you actually make more breast milk in the middle of the night, so why not take advantage of that nature? Prolactin, a hormone that helps establish, build, and maintain milk supply, also follows the circadian rhythm. Prolactin levels are higher in nighttime breast milk, particularly in the early hours of the morning, which is often why babies will nurse more then, when milk is plentiful and flowing freely. Sigh, I know those are the hardest hours for you, mama, but take some comfort in knowing that this is biologically normal. It doesn't necessarily make it easier, but perhaps less heavy on your heart. And number four, Breastfeeding at night might protect against SIDS or sudden infant death syndrome. The hypothesis is that breastfed infants wake up more frequently than formula fed infants because they digest the breast milk more quickly than formula. And they also spend more time in lighter stages of sleep, which could protect against SIDS. It just allows them to wake up if there was any problem. At this point, you might be thinking that nursing throughout the night means you'll get less sleep. I get it, it sort of makes logical sense. And sleep trainers use this as one of their selling points. But research shows that women who exclusively breastfed report significantly more hours of sleep, better physical health, more energy, and lower rates of depression than those who are formula feeding or doing mixed feedings. Yes, breastfeeding mothers woke more frequently to nurse their babies but they were more likely to bed share and woke up lightly rather than fully and also fell back asleep faster. So mama, you can now see that nursing to sleep is not a bad habit, nor one that you need to stop immediately. If nursing to sleep and back to sleep is working for you and your baby, then keep doing it. If it is no longer working for you or your baby, then that is when you can work towards making changes to stop nursing to sleep. If you need more help with that, then stay tuned for my video next week on how to stop nursing to sleep. If you want to learn more about what is biologically normal infant sleep in the first two years and how to optimize it, make sure to check out my Redefine Baby Sleep free mini course below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and share this video on your social media channels and tag me at the Holistic Baby Guru.